Hi, uh, good morning. It's Saturday, the 19th of uh, December, 2020. Hope everybody had a good week. I had a kind of productive week uh, uh, when I was on vacation this week. I finally built the the uh, cabinet, the little mini cabinet for my Blu-rays. But what I found out <laughs> was actually that, you know, it's supposed to hold like 106, 136 Blu-rays, but apparently I have more because I still have Blu-rays down there. So I have to buy another little cabinet to hold them because I still have more there, which I don't know why I didn't count them. I should have counted them beforehand and that would have told me that I had I need a bigger cabinet. So, but I, you know, I took my time actually and built it over a couple of hours, which is really ridiculous. I could definitely could have built it a lot faster because I built it the first time I put it together. I had it kind of backwards. <laughs> That's that part of it backwards, uh, you know, the, the, not the wood, you know, the, there's a smooth part to it, then there's the kind of a, the uh, dull part of it, which should be in the back of it. I had it all mixed in, <laughs> so I just had to take it apart, basically, and put it back together again. And But I have it together there, and it's been holding up pretty good there, so I did a, a, a good job. Because normally I, I'd ask my stepfather, like, the one at the cabinet that I have here, I had my stepfather put it together. Uh, but this one was fairly easy, and... I'm thinking, although I'm thinking that um, I should get one bigger than that one, the one that's over there, I think I paid like 30-something bucks. I think it was on sale. And like I said, it holds 136 Blu-rays. Uh, so, I, like I said, I still have more here. <laughs> Go figure. So, I can see if I can buy another one. I can maybe put it over here. Put it over, you know, put it against this wall here. Again, next to that one. But I think I have to get one that's a little wider. Okay. But anyway, um Oh yeah, and also like I said, um uh I've been mentioning it on my uh when I do my I usually put on on Instagram what I eat for dinner and stuff. And like I said, I've been working on my patron channel. Uh like I said, I did an intro video for it, which I put up on this channel if you wanna see that. And I'm still kinda working out the logistics of it. Uh and like I said, I, I have four, like, well, because today I have to watch uh, the season finale of season two of The Mandalorian. And then that's going to go up on the Patreon as well. I, but I have, so basically it'll be like four complete TV show seasons. I have Stargirl season one, Doom Patrol season two, The Boys season two, and then it'll be uh, Mandalorian season two. So I'm, uh, I have to figure out because... Uh, you got what you have to do with Patreon is you have to get a video hosting site because Patreon obviously they don't um, host the, the videos on their site. You have to put them on a, and then leave a link to that site on your Patreon so your patrons can follow the link, you know, and then they'll be able to watch your unedited versions of you know my TV show reacting. So I gotta see again. I, I, I'm thinking that I'm not gonna be able to put all four seasons, which I for some reason I don't know why I thought in my head that. On the Patreon, you can put as much, as many TV shows as you want, but you know, this a space issue, uh, and I, I think I'm going to have to uh, join Vimo. Vimo is a uh, video hosting site because uh, you could do it on YouTube, but YouTube is not. You don't have as many protections and stuff, and I think you need. That's what you want. You want, you know, these things to be. You know, I think they have more uh, privacy things. So. And then you have more, and you have more space, I think, too, on Vimo too. So they have, I think it's Vimo Pro that you join. I think, and it's I think it's twenty bucks a month or something like that. And that way you can host the uh, you can host you know the videos. I can host the you know the reactions on that. But I have to. What I think I'm also going to do is um. Oh, uh, <laughs> excuse me. What I'm, uh, I'm, I'm what I'm what's getting me stuck not getting me stuck so much as I was working out how to do live streams and stuff and I think I figured that out to do the live streams I can do the live streams on YouTube and stuff but then just put them just send them to the patrons so that way only the patrons see the you know but I think I have to wait till I get patrons actually and then do the live streams and then send the link to the patrons so the patrons can only see the you know see the my live streams and then 
but my thing is I'm getting stuck on the tiers on, on what to put on the different tiers. But I have to, like I said, look and see how, how much space these TV shows take up because I think you can put 20 gigabytes a week, I think. I think you have one uh, terabyte for a year. So I have to, what I think I'm going to have to do is rotate the, the TV shows out. Like I can put up a certain amount of TV shows for a little bit and then rotate them out and then put the new ones. Because like I said, coming up in the new year, uh, I'm going to watch WandaVision. That's what I want to watch, WandaVision. I want to watch uh, uh, Superman and Lois, The Flash, and Legacies. I know uh, uh, Cap, um, uh uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it's five. So what I think I might have to do is, as these TV shows roll out, I'm going to have to rotate the old ones out and put the new ones in like that. So that's what I think I'm going to have to do initially. Maybe put in the new, put in the ones I have saved and then rotate them out once the new shows start. I'll just, I'll just have to take them, take one down and say, listen, so the patrons can they have, you know, they can, they'll have a, a you know, a couple of, couple of weeks to watch, you know, the shows that I already recorded, and then I'm going to rotate them out. And I think I think that's the way to do it. So that way, I don't, it doesn't take up, I can't have, you know, because you have a certain amount of space, and most of these shows are high definition, which takes up a lot of space, so I can't have, like, 50 TV shows on the patron, because that's, you know, unless, um, the only way, like I said, the only way I can do that is unless, um, Unless I'm, yeah, you because know, because the only I think I think you have unlimited. I think premium, uh, Vimo premium is like unlimited space. But then again, you don't want to keep those old shows on there too much, too long because that, yeah. You know, oh yeah, and Prodigal Son comes out. I want to watch that too. That's another show. But like I said, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna. I have to be very selective about what shows I want to react to, because like I said, Prodigal Son which I watch, I'm not going to do that one. And maybe not Legacy I'm trying to think which ones I definitely want to do. Like The Flash, definitely. I think Flash and Superman and Lois for sure, because that's only 13 episodes, which is good. And, and I'm not going to do Supergirl. That's the last season, and I'm not going to do that either. Uh, but Prodigal Son, although maybe what I might do is like towards the summer, like once the shows are over, and the other shows have been on a while. Maybe I maybe I can go back and look. But like I said, it's more of me figuring this stuff out. Uh, like I said, I got an intro video. I got a design, a banner thing for it. I put my cover page. I put a description of what I do. Um, and like I said, my part that I'm stuck on is the tiers. I have to figure out what to do with the tiers because uh, I do want to do the live stream thing, but. The live stream things may uh, have to wait until after I get a few patrons, and then I can do the live stream exclusively, exclusively for them. Uh, but the Q and A's, I can do those. Uh, maybe I'll do the Q and A's for everybody, for all the patrons. I'll do the Q and A's for the the behind the scenes stuff for all the patrons. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I should have like a. Now I'm thinking in my head. I should, uh, my first tier should be behind the scenes, Q and A's, uh, maybe early uh, video reactions, maybe that for them, and then maybe the second tier would be, you know, TV show reactions. You know, they get the Q and A's and, the, and stuff like that, and, that's, and and then of course merchandise will be available for everyone. So I, I think I got it in my head. I just got to write it down, and then I can, because I have to visually see it to think of it. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, but like I said, but rest assured, I am working on my patron thing, and hopefully I can get it up before the end of the year. I think I can do that, because, um, like I said, I have to go back to work starting on Monday, but Monday's a short week. Uh, not Monday's, next week's a short week. We work three and a half days, you know, we work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, full day, then a half day Thursday, then we're off for Christmas, which is Friday. And then same thing for the following week, three days, get a half a day Thursday off for New Year's Day. New Year's Day. So, so 
there's not as many days coming up work-wise, so I'll have time. Like I said, today, like I said, I'm going to watch The Mandalorian. Once I upload this video, I'm going to do The Mandalorian. I, I download it and stuff. And, and also what I did was I got I put on my phone and on my computer and on my tablet, I put the McAfee, uh, you know, you know I provide, you know, the uh, computer thing protection, so I can protect my, you know, my my phone, my yeah, you know, my phone and my iPad and my computer and stuff, so that way it protects it, you know, from viruses and stuff. I put that on there because I got a good deal. It's like I think protect five things for like uh, thirty bucks or something like that. Protect five devices for a year, which is a, I think a good price. That was a, a, a decent price. And hopefully, um, like I said, uh, Congress is working on the uh, the uh, the stimulus package. Which again, again, that's another rant because I hate politicians. They drag their ass. And you know, the American people are hurting out there, and they drag their ass for months not passing a relief package. And that's why people can't stand politicians, and they should be term limits, okay? Because these people work. People are hurting out there. People, businesses are going out of business and stuff. People got furloughed on my job. I know I, I can't mention this last week. People on my job, the people that were furloughed, some of the people that were furloughed, got terminated. Their jobs are lost. Now, they may bring them back later uh, when things are better. Uh, but people, you know, what you gonna, people have to survive. And, you you know, and these companies, you know, they had, they terminate the people that were on furlough because I don't think you can keep people on furlough for, for only for so long. And, it's like ridiculous. So, so it's basically just me and the guy that luckily I was on jury duty because they brought the one guy back, Mark, that works with me. Because if if I wasn't on jury duty, he'd have been one of the guys they I terminated. But they terminated everybody else that worked in the print shop beside me and Mark. We had was four other guys that were there. Yeah, was it? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, one, two, yeah. Yeah, they terminate the four other guys. So it's only me and Mark. We're the print shop. They terminate. I mean, it's not as much work because people, most people are working from home. But still, there's only two people. So when things do pick up, those other four guys, they'll probably be already, you know, hopefully, God willing, they're, you know, they have jobs and stuff. So they ain't willing to come back. So you're going to have to hire four new people and stuff. And people are hurting. And people are, unemployment benefits are going to run out. People they could evicted people still on food lines and Congress drags their ass. That's why I, I can't stand politicians. Okay, they have no sense of urgency. Okay, until you can put a gun to their head. Okay, that's why they should be term limits on all Congress people. So they're not there forever and they make it a fucking excuse me. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean the curse <laughs> there. When they make it a, a career and I'm sorry, I was rambling. But I'm sorry, like I'm to rant, but it just pisses me off. Oh, Congress people that they're never held accountable for their actions. Okay, but anyway, um, like I said, so today I'm gonna so look for my review of uh of Mandalorian. Okay, that I gotta do an edited version of it, obviously. Uh, that's the finale of that. So then, like I said, uh, and I'm also gonna uh join HBO Max. I'm gonna put it on my Android box there, so I can watch Wonder Woman, which comes out next Friday. Uh, Christmas, so I definitely want to see that because obviously in New York there's no theaters open. Obviously, theaters have been closed since like April, and I don't think theaters are going to open in New York probably until maybe next year this time, maybe maybe the fall, depending on how they roll out the vaccine. Uh, so hopefully theaters will open up because I, yeah, fingers crossed about that. But anyway, um, and uh, maybe I'll try to watch Monster Hunter. I think Kill. I think that came out. Uh, Monster the Hunter Killer on paper, on paper. So I may try to watch that. So, like I said, but I will also, like I said, I'm going to try to keep focusing on my patron page and, and try to get that to where I want it to be. And I'll keep you updated when, I, when it goes live and stuff. So I'll make an announcement here so you know that it's live. My patron is live and I got everything straightened out. Okay. So, um, again, like I said, it snowed in New York the other day, uh, Thursday. Wednesday night, it's a Thursday. So, I know everything probably, <laughs> it's been cold, so everything's probably freezing and stuff. People did a good job around here digging out stuff, you know, 
making little pathways for people and stuff. And I think it's supposed to get up to in the 50s on Thursday, the day before Christmas. So let me see. Um, I just want to see what the weather's going to be like. Because once it hits 50, the snow stuff is going to start melting and stuff. Let me see what the weather's going to be like. Okay, yeah. See? Look at this. Um, it's going to be 39. Today's Saturday. It's supposed to go up to 34, which is still above freezing. 39 on tomorrow. 37 only on Monday, 43 on Tuesday, 39 on Wednesday, 52 and raining, 40% chance of rain. Okay, so it's 52 degrees on Thursday, which I think is, is good. If it, hit, it does truly hit the 50s, that will melt a lot of the snow. Okay, and then 45, <laughs> 45 degrees on Christmas and 6% chance of rain. See, the rain will help in a melt it and, and wash it away. But then again, it's supposed to get cold again on Sad next Saturday, 36 and 37 on Sunday. And then the Monday is supposed to be 37 and 40% chance of snow. So once this snow starts to melt a little bit, <laughs> then it might snow again. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it's 23 right now. It's going to be 34 today on Saturday. Okay, and I have to do something for my brother. I have to go see if I can get him a, a quilt for his bed in there. I want to get him a quilt and stuff. And, and maybe get myself a little quilt. I can go to that little... Uh, discount store there and see if we can get a see if we can get a bargain on it so for him so he can have something to to cover him and stuff and then maybe just get him some more long johns and stuff I want to see if I can do that for him uh, today as well so look for my review of Mandalorian <laughs> and I might do a, a video about the whole no you know what no I'll just do a review of that well, look for my edited review of The Mandalorian. I hope I can end that up today because I already got it now. I'll just kind of watch it uh, this morning. After I finish doing this, I'm going to get up and, and wash up and eat my cereal. And then I'll start watching The Mandalorian. And, okay. and also, yeah, like I said, um, I am going to be doing these live streams. I'm going to try to do more live streams on this channel just as well. Uh, just to, you know, so I can have more interaction with my fans because I, I do miss... The old days of YouTube when we used to do video reactions and stuff, we used to submit them to people underneath their video, the link, and people we used to do that a lot more, but YouTube cut that out for some stupid reason. And I used to have, we used to have more interactions when I was first, when I first started doing this channel hardcore, it was just like more video, more interactions with subscribers and stuff, and, and had more, it seemed like you had more friends and stuff on YouTube back then. It just seemed a bit like a better time, this, I don't know, I feel Kind of nostalgic about it, but yeah, it just, it just seemed better back then. We had more interaction. I used to first whole content video contests, and people used to send replies back and all this stuff. Just it's more interaction. Just, but like I said, I'm definitely excited about getting the Patreon channel up. I just have to make sure I do it the right way, and I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna have merchandise for sale on that. And the good thing is, I just design it, and then Patreon will take care of the shipping and all that other stuff, which I think is. A, a great headache unlifted because sometimes when I used to have the video contests and stuff and I used to have to send the movies to people I used to, you know, I I mail them out to people and stuff. I actually, you know, the movies, I used to go to the post office, and get their address and mail the movies out to people. I used to actually do that. I used to go to the post office, wrap the stuff up and, and send them out to people. Okay, I remember doing, actually doing that. But the good thing now about digital thing, you don't have to do that. You can just send them the code, which is a, oh, that saved a lot of money, but I used to actually do that. Remember, I used to, plenty of times for my job at lunchtime, I used to take the movies with me at lunchtime, tape them up, make the address, and then send them out to people. And I used to actually mail them, and then people would make videos showing me that they got the movie. So, again, it was more interaction with the, with your subscribers and the people that you did contests with, so I, I kind of like that. Uh, so, anyway, um, like I said, I, I'm definitely interested hopefully get that patron running before the end of the year, get that up and running the way I want it to be. And like I said, look for the Mandalorian. Let me see if I can watch Monster Hunter Killer. Okay, I'm going to watch that because I think that came out. And uh, maybe another video from my other channel, Plug Views and Opinions. I definitely put one up the other the day about Tom Cruise, okay, and his uh, ranting. So if you follow the link in my description box to my other channel, you can see what I thought of Tom Cruise ranting on the set of Mission Impossible. Well, okay, about uh, the crew, some crew members, you know, plotting the COVID-19 restrictions and stuff. So, 
follow the link in the description box. You can see what I mean. Also, I have links to my other social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, so check those out as well. Okay, I hope Ava had a great weekend. Stay safe and have a good Christmas. Because by the next time you see me, it'll be the day after Christmas. So I hope everybody gets what they want. Stay safe, be well. And again, remember, the virus is still here. So, you know, social distance, wear your mask, and wash your hands, okay? Please, please, I don't want anybody, you know, trying to cut down these deaths. So please, and thankfully, we're getting a new administration in here. So hopefully, and he'll take the virus. That president will take the virus more seriously. Okay, and actually help the people. Okay, so take care of you all. Take care. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.